Hey there, Matt Holquist here with the QuickBooks University. I wanted to show you how to handle an overpayment in QuickBooks, okay? So this can happen. Uh, it happens actually a fair amount. Uh, you issue an invoice to a customer and it's a certain amount and they overpay it for whatever reason. Uh, you know, they might just be looking at it wrong. Who knows? Okay, so what do you do in that situation and how do you record that in QuickBooks? All right. So let's go through that. We're gonna say, uh, let's go up to, let's say we get a check in the mail for an invoice that we issued uh, to a customer, okay? So we're gonna just go to customers, um, receive payments right here. Uh, you can also do that on the home screen right here, receive payments, all right? So we'll say receive payments and let's pick a customer, okay? We're, we're gonna say Christy Abercrombie and let's say that she paid us, instead of $3,111.28, she paid us $3,211.28. Okay, when you have multiple invoices, okay, what it's gonna do in QuickBooks is it's just going to uh, put it here, okay, and max that out, and then it's gonna put the additional $100 there, okay? So, this is okay to do. Um, generally, I like to run that by the customer or the client to make sure they're okay with that. I say, hey, you overpaid this. Do you want to just apply it to this other invoice? Or how would you like to handle that? Uh, okay. So in this case, they say, I don't want to apply it to that. I want you to refund my money. Okay. So here's what happens when we uncheck this second invoice. All right, you'll see that it still shows $3,111.28, okay, because it's just zeroing out that invoice. But it brings up this box down here that says, okay, you have an overpayment. When you're finished, what do you want to do? Do you want to leave this credit to be used later? Okay, and if so, it's going to say available credits. This customer has credits to apply, okay? Or do you want to refund the amount to the customer, okay? So let's say we want to refund the amount to the customer. All right. So let's hit save and close. Okay. So it brings up this screen that says issue a refund. And a refund is due to Christy Abercrombie for $100, etc. Uh, online payment. Okay. We want to issue this um, via check. Okay. You can say transmit memo we're not going to do an online payment we're going to do to be printed okay because we're just going to print a check and send it to christy abercrombie now in most cases customers that you have ongoing work for are going to say you know what just use it as a credit against a uh, future invoice um, typically a customer is just going to be happy that you alerted them that hey they have an overpayment all right but uh, sometimes they're going to want a refund. You know, it could be a one-off job that you're only going to do one thing for this customer and you may never work with them again. They're going to want their overpayment back. Okay. So we're going to say to be printed and we're going to click OK. All right. So now if we go to file, go down to print forms. Okay. We've got uh, checks here and you'll see one here to Christy Abercrombie for $100. All right. All right. That's basically how you're going to handle overpayments in QuickBooks. All right, pretty straightforward. We'd love to have you join us over at the QuickBooks University. We've got 45 training videos and 12 advanced videos over there uh, that will walk you through everything you need to know in QuickBooks. And you also have access to me. Uh, as a member, uh, we have a forum where you can ask me any questions. Uh, you can also email me questions uh, as a member, and I will help you get your QuickBooks to where it needs to be so you can make the right decisions in your business to grow and to make money. All right, so head on over there, qbuniversity.org, and I look forward to seeing you over there.